Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Cursov and welcome back to uh, another duel in the summer kickoff tournament here. We have the round three feature match. We have a triple A winner at the bottom here or uh, speed duels uh, 69. Let's go. And uh, we have uh, Mirakuru at the top here. Uh, he's actually the one who got second place in the previous tournament I hosted. So he is a... Uh, a very uh, a pretty good player obviously but regardless um yeah i'm excited against this match i think both these guys have won all their previous matches but i don't know because i didn't pay enough attention anyway i'm joined by rook's table hey guys yeah i've definitely seen Mirakuru before speed duel 69 yolo swag 420 i like that one Hell haven't yeah. seen him before <laughs> um but yeah no i like how you do it so we did like preliminaries first and now we're in like winners round two or three like it's getting more serious guys so exactly, as you want exactly. seems we can get more and more heated we just saw a really really great match uh with uh, a couple guys that have been good like tetra and and all that and we're seeing meta decks we're seeing moth we're seeing grave cube burn we're seeing inner conflict so let's see what we have here morakaru i think that last tournament you had he was playing grave cube burn oh gosh there's two oh oh right oh there. <laughs> So they're both immediately sad because now, <laughs> yes. you know, everything that happens to them happens to the other person. Oh, we're seeing Warrior Burn, Oh, maybe. okay, okay. We have a back nice. row and a Gear Freed out nice. to start. Good 1800 attack monster. Yeah, we're seeing Gravekeeper Burn here on the Marakaru side, taking 500 and getting counters already. And Wonder Bond. Wonder Bond, there we go. Any response? Maybe we're going to see a Dust come out here? Probably not going to see a dust. Doesn't think, look well, like So it. he's not playing against Moth. So Moth, a Moth deck would be good to dust for now that Wonder Wand because then it leaves Curse open to Parasite. But looks like we don't have an answer there. So he's going to get the card draw, and now he's got all of the traps. Thanks, there they are. Wand. Yep, got to love that card. card <laughs> Can't wait to see Triple Nightmare Wheel on that poor Gear Freed here. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. The Triple Nightmare Wheel. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think it was Tetra who sent a screenshot one time to the Discord where he, I think he just had three monsters on field and his opponent had three Nightmare Wheels equipped to each one of his monsters. It was really funny yeah, to see. Funny. But, wow, uh, we Charging got Gaia. 1900 Charging Gaia. So this is obviously a warrior deck of some sorts here. Just a warrior place. rush, like a warrior beatdown deck here with Twisted Personality. Maybe the guy was just throwing together a good warrior deck and he's like, what's a, I don't know what skill to use, but you're not committed to Gaia, so you're not using Knight of Legend. Uh, Twisted Personality kind of covers all your bases. I think Twisted Personality has become the skill that's like, don't know what skill to use, use this. Because it used to be Hidden Parasite on the contingency that you run um, the Eradicating Aerosol. But now people have kind of moved away from that. Yeah. So I think it's going to be Twisted Personality here. And this is what we used to call a, uh, a big brain play, not giving his opponent that third counter here. Yeah, there you go. It's true. Starving your opponent. But he does have two counters, so we could see a card drop from the hand. Or even a, uh, a curse just drop down here to grab that third counter if need be. Obviously, this deck has no trouble grabbing those third counters. Yeah, third counter wouldn't be a problem here, but those are two pretty hefty targets. We're going to see a Rite of Spirit curse. Yep. Free up that back row for, the, for another Zoma or a Nightmare Wheel or whatever you got. <laughs> but now we have three counters on both. That's the downside for Double Twisted, but he also got it on his side. He can ditch something now. We're seeing a tribute oh, for Oracle. Hey, that's Here good. we go, big boy. Maybe we'll, we'll see the two drop for a discard because those monsters no longer matter. They're both at zero zero permanently. So we're going to see... Yes, yeah, we're going to see, see a discard. All right, cool. We're going to see him hit a Blade Knight. Oh, Blade Knight. I haven't seen Blade Knight in Blade I don't Knight. know how long. Oh, my God. Blade Knight was... Scars of August 2019. That that deck was good. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, we're gonna back. see a straight 2000 smack. And wow, he just got away with that with yeah. a thousand. Oh, an in phase Zoma. Yeah. But uh, next turn, we're gonna see Speed Duel's uh, Yolo Swag 420 <laughs> remove all of his counters and uh, pop that Oracle for sure. But that Gear Freed is so worthless. He's just got to put him in defense and then seeing if he can poke down with the Zoma for 18 at a time. Tribute I mean, summon. he is only one of like, <laughs> That's true, Tribute Summon. I mean, a, a deck like this, you got Warriors, you got Blade Knight. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy sprinkles in a Gap or a Dark Ruler Hades. No, definitely but not. Looks like uh, got... That works too, though. <laughs> yeah, we actually have Lethal here. Yeah. Um, unless we... the Necro or the Nightmare Wheels. If they're both Nightmare Wheels, then then Mirakuru wins, actually. Or even Azoma. Double Rite of Spirit. <laughs> oh, we're going to see a Zoma. Dust for the Zoma. That's good. That's good. We and... can take this hit. 
There's the nightmare, nightmare wheel. wheel. Okay. Wow. Um... Now we just have to wait. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> misclicks. Okay. Misclicks. That's dueling book for you. <laughs> oh my god. I I uh, the last game I played, I tried to send something to the grave, and I declared it like three times. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not being a dick. I promise. There's the, <laughs> There's curse. the curse. We had a curse. In curse hand for that game. First it's game. always curse for game <laughs> with these gravekeeper burn decks, man. <laughs> Curse for games, so anticlimactic. It's just, oh, I lost? Okay. Yeah, let's go. I guess we're going on again, too. And the Nightmare World burning you down slowly, too. Yeah, once you get to like 1500 or less life points, uh, the game could just be over in a snap yeah. for a Gravekeeper. Maybe we'll grab yeah, a Golden we... Ladybug here from the side deck. That guy, I mean, he hit Dun Siding pretty quickly. It'll be interesting to see what he has in his side. For the sure. Blade Knight flummoxes me I, like 2000 is not that much anymore and you got to satisfy the requirements that blade knight has i didn't see a command knight no nope, you're just better off with a command knight gear freed that's 22 yeah but, and uh, yeah and, like, some blade knight protection, but... exactly i mean blade knight will, will crash with an oracle when you have the one card in hand but maybe we took it out we'll see we right, going to game two so what was that maraca was going first um, then... Yeah, he's yeah, he's obviously going. He's going first here as uh, a speed duels uh, 69 here uh, lost his first match or first game here. So yeah, so he's on the draw here, and we'll see his opening. There game. it oh, is. He does have oh boy! <laughs> but does he have the biggest brain with the DD Crow? <sighs> Only time will tell. There's a gear freed on the field. Pretty comfortable swinging into what I assume is a Gravekeeper's Recruiter, but he's just got to watch out for the back row Maracaru sets here. And he's got one set in the back row as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, we're going to see two sets here. And yeah, like you said, most likely a Recruiter. And there it is. Going to get that mandatory search off here. Don't forget, guys, it is mandatory. If you have a target, use the search. Hey, yeah, there you go. It's true. <laughs> so we could have seen, if he had read a Spirit set, he could have easily searched for Oracle, and now he could write Spirit here in Tribute. But it looks like he's not ready to make that play yet. He's going to try and poke him down and burn. Clearly not worried about getting attacked by Gear Freed. Oh, yeah, we got the Wonder Wand, so we're going to get some more we're card draw here. Ooh, Twister. Ooh, we're Twister. going to see them both grab an extra counter, too, there. Uh, this does give the uh, discard option, though, to try and get rid of that Ladybug for... Uh, I think you should use it. Yeah, definitely. I think you should keep the momentum, especially if he has Curse on the Field Array, and there it is. is that the we're going to see a discard. That's the Ladybug! Yes, that's Make it. Ladybug. That's so good. I feel like, wait, I feel like Speed Duels should have shuffled his hand, because I think that on the reveal, we clearly saw that it went to the left. I don't know. After I guess you revealed, that's why your, do your hand does automatically shuffle, so. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was random. All yes. right, and now Speed Duel 69 going to utilize the same discard to drop Recruiter into the grave. And Recruiter's effect only activates when the card you control is sent to the graveyard. So from the hand, you are safe from that exactly, effect. Exactly, yeah. And I think so we did know have, that was yeah. a Recruiter, too, because I think he searched Recruiter off Recruiter. I could be wrong there, but yeah. I think Yeah, so. just cycling the Recruiters here. But we have a Charging Guy in Gear Freed. Wow, Windstorm of Atakwa? I never see that there? card. Whoa, we're seeing What's Command that? Knight Windstorm. <laughs> This is off of both people too, off of both players. I know. I mean, Windstorm always, always. I feel like it's Warrior always Limb from the side deck. Who oh, has that in their oh. side deck? Who is convinced that you were going to see Warriors enough to put Warrior Elimination in your six-card side deck? That's that blows my freaking mind. He's going to get an 800 attack swing here with Curse when he does. He should not get that swing, oh and he's just set God. speed dual stacks. So Two thousand oh attack God. command knight. <laughs> Look at this meta Blade Knight right now at 2,000 attack. Oh now God. what he needs is the Thebit Nightmare. I think that's the one where it's like we have nothing. Yes, the yeah, yes, yes. yeah. But we're going to see a swing here. There's going to be a difference of 1,200, and he's going to take it, and we're going to get a counter. So now Mirakuru on the mercy of the top deck, but he does have the set card. So if it's a Rite of Spirit Curse out, then there's your third counter. There's removing Blade Knight. Let's see what he's got here in, the, in his hand. Yeah, the third counter would be very, very nice right now, as obviously there is absolutely nothing to discard. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see here. This is a, this is a very, very exciting match I'm finding, though, for sure. It's an interesting match. And and the best part is is that this is like round two or three, and these guys are, are uh, what, XO, X1? Yeah. So yep, these decks yep. are working. <clears throat> these decks are working. There's the Red Spirit for Curse. That's going to bring the three counters and drop Speed Duels down to 22. Unless we're seeing... Uh, yeah, we're seeing Curse. Yep, yep. They're going to see him put here in defense position. Obviously, I don't know. Well, he could have attacked him. Defense? Maybe. I wonder what he drew. Because ideally here, he would have put in an attack, dropped the counters, 
and then swung Bl I mean, I would have swung blindly into that back row. He's gonna he's gonna pop late night here though, because now Speed Duels is at the mercy of his top deck as well. So I mean, we have yeah. seen a lot of warriors from him though. He might be pretty monster heavy, and you get something like a charging guy out, and it's actually pretty hard for a Gravekeeper's deck to deal with, because 1900, it, you know, <clears throat> obviously it's Recruiter, Curse, and Oracle, and Oracle is pretty few and far between. Like you don't see Ambusher anymore. Remember Ambusher? I do remember 1700 Ambusher. Attack? That was like the that was the beater of the deck, but now you don't even need that. Uh, you don't even need to attack to win with this deck. What a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But uh but yeah, no, I definitely would have blindly swung in there and um I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. I mean Oh. Oh That Is works he too. Buffing Oracle then? That's interesting to me because he could have minus two thousand, two thousand to Blade Knight. And done pretty much the same. Oh, I see. He's going for game because this puts him at uh, 23, and Speed Duels has 22 left. So he's going to actually beat over Zoma confidently and take that huge hit, 500 life points. Luckily, oh, but his Speed opponent Duels can just not running drop those three counters and just pop that Oracle, yeah. and you guarantee. So top... Oh my <gasps> God! <laughs> this is why. Remember, last, was it last one where I was like, I thought Ladybug was 500, 500. This would have been the time where it mattered. It really. But was. no, yeah. So. Obviously, Speed Duels can just remove those counters and get Oracle off the field, and now Miracles, they're both at the mercy of the top deck, and Ladybug is huge right now because that burn didn't matter. He's going to be able to swing for 800 here, um, but, oh, he's going to ditch the Ladybug. That's smart. Oh, that's smart yeah, so that's both. That's two Ladybugs gone now. I don't know. I doubt he's running a third. If he's running a third, I, I, I mean, but... Uh, right, and, and now yeah, he's at two counters. There it is. That's just one monster away from game. Good that is that. going to be it here. Okay, we're going to see a it. fat game three. Let's go. These are very interesting decks. That was that was very back and forth, I will say, yeah. And uh, Speed Duels was left with two counters, which he couldn't use to, to ditch from hand, because at that point, we were just playing off the top deck, whatever it was. Luckily, he top decked that Charging Gaia, which is going to uh, totally annihilate Curse. It, we saw Murakuru bring Curse back from Rite of Spirit in defense, I think anticipating that. Yeah. Um, and then he later attributed for Oracle. But now, but then at the very end there, he was like, you know what? I just have to like start being aggressive. And that's when Speed Duels got the card that mattered. Even if it was like a gear free. But good stuff. Yeah. I know. I almost really feel just... like, I don't know. I, I guess it makes sense to try and go for game there. But at the same time, like with two back row, do you really think you'll get game? I almost felt like you should have held on to the Oracle. Yeah. And we're consistently seeing Zoma here. That's but, all we know, ever it see really becomes a, <laughs> yeah, It really becomes a nail biter once you get down to like a thousand uh, on one side or the other, <clears throat> especially with decks focusing around burn. But we're seeing a pretty defensive set from Speed Duel 69 here on his turn, and now Marakaru with a heavy back row as well. I don't think we're going to see any action unless he's got. That's a recruiter. Yep. <laughs> and Speed Duel the set is. Maybe he has the Command Knight finally. Potentially, yeah. Uh, oh, no, he's hit a Cure Fiend. Okay, okay, yep. Yep, we're not seeing any Command Knights here. Potentially just not running Command Knight, opting for Blade Knight over it, which is very interesting. Oh, my God. Heavy back row versus heavy back row, and he's swinging into the... Oh, curse? He said a curse. <clears throat> I need... No. Oh. I don't know. I feel like do that. I think I would have set... I would have just put in an attack and, and taken the thousand life points. I think. So yeah. Doing burn I mean, on that's, him. That's and two, counters. two counters. Exactly. You people need to remember that their life points are a resource. It, they don't truly, protect at all costs. It's a resource like your card draw, etc. So, I mean, it didn't. In the long run, I don't think it was that bad. There's the right of spirit to get cursed back, and now he has a Zoma, which is going to clash with Gear Freed, and he would take the burn uh, that Zoma gets from Gear Freed. Yeah. Whereas Ooh, like double Zoma. Would... And he hasn't used yeah. his normal summon yet either, going off of this Wonder Wand. That's true. Yeah, you got to keep track of that for sure. So now he has a good chance of drawing something good from a Gravekeeper's perspective just to pepper in some more damage. Although he'd be swinging into this heavy back row. He'd have three counters right now if he summoned Curse in attack mode. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to try and crash with Gear Freed, and since it's, they're not both Zoma, um, Speed Duels would actually take the 1800 here. No, we did see him have... Ooh, there's a Dust Tornado. Yeah, we've seen yeah. Uh, Twister last game, I believe, from him. So, we know he has Never the seen removal. Dust and there's his own <clears> Zoma. <throat> Heavy <laughs> aggro, man. Oh, my oh, God. Nice. Lots of Zomas here. For yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I, I just saw... It. Two turns ago when they both had a full back row, I was like, this is going to be one of those <laughs> those games. I just oh, my gosh. There's oh, so and much the going 2000 on. 2000 Blade Knight. Blade Knight. <laughs> Blade Knight actually working here, like 
consistently. This looks good. This is a good feel. Yeah. This looks really good. <laughs> 2018 and 18, I mean, this is going to be game unless we have, and, and you know, Speedwell 69 can confidently swing through his own. He's zone playing here. around the windstorm because he's seen the windstorm. We're seeing somebody play around windstorm. That's big brain. He can't completely annihilate him this turn. Uh, but yeah, okay, there's a nightmare. We, we were bound to see a nightmare wheel. I haven't seen one of those yet. I know. I um, know. But yeah, you're right. Rockroot did have windstorm. Wow. I haven't seen somebody play around windstorm in I don't know how long, man. <laughs> Yeah, right. Not since uh, this year, really. <clears throat> but, yeah, so now three counters on both sides with everything that's transpired. So we're getting Gear Freed off the field. We got the Nightmare Wheel and the Blade Knight, so that's not too scary just yet. We want to try and milk Nightmare Wheel as best we can. And we can pop Rock that Root's wheel, head. too. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, he can pop the wheel. In yeah. fact, it's the only face target, so he might actually pop the wheel here. We'll it see. makes the most sense. Ooh, discard? <laughs> yeah, he's going to actually opt to discard here. Intriguing. He hits the Oracle. That that's was oh big. My that was God. big. That was really big because that was probably a recruiter set and he was ready to just He has a twister. Oh, he, he didn't need to pop it. That's why. Oh my god. And he Very gets another counter. Stuff. Yeah, this is crazy. Too bad you can't pop that skill twice in one turn, otherwise he go ahead and That'd discard that last That'd card. Be broken. Oh my god. The, I, the skill is is balanced enough i'd say like could you imagine if you could use it like in the battle phase as a quick effect or yeah there's a dust a quick on the effect no <laughs> quick effect uh <laughs> don't that, say please. that <laughs> yeah <clears throat> all right blade knight blade knight is the champion of the deck right now yes oh my 2000 God. attack and we we, we cleared maracaru's board that snipe for the zoma i mean, the zoma the oracle is huge we're gonna and see now a we're nice seeing, plus uh, here Let's see. Yeah, he's had a lot of back removal before. I wouldn't be surprised. No, he's gonna. Let's go. We'll go through. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna draw two here, and he's hoping to draw into probably another nightmare wheel or some other traps that can just kind of stall it out and burn him down while he gets the. Uh... Oh, actually, no. Look at that. Speed duels is at two counters again. So if he nightmare wheeled, just puts him right back to three. And he just gets rid of it next turn. That's the that's the frustrating part about the mirror twisted personalities. Seeing them phase Zoma. Phase Zoma. There better be Sphere. No, there's no Sphere creeper. Yeah. I just said GG. I don't think we saw Sphere at all from him. No. Yeah, he's yeah, over. Ah, uh, play it uh, out. Nah. No, this is tough though. Four cards in hand and no answer to the blade. The scary Blade Knight and the Zoma. That's that was, that was oh, a really very surprising, uh, very surprising win I'd say for Speed Duel 69 with this deck. I love how different it is. Yeah, for sure. I love seeing like. Like almost like a warrior like control deck, kind of like what we used to see with the with the warrior builds here. This is really really Back nice. Back in the see. simpler times. Back yeah. in the simpler times. Yeah. Good truly, truly. But uh, yeah, no, fantastic from uh, from both players, obviously. And um, I did, uh, I do think they're actually one and one going into this matchup. So we do see Speed Duels sixty nine going two and one here, and uh, Mirakuru going one and two. So uh, both of them still have a huge potential to make top eight. Obviously, four and two should still get you in the top eight fine. But regardless, uh, yeah, both players, uh, it was a really nice match and well played on both fronts here. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clue up this video here. Obviously, the duel is finished, but I will see you guys not tomorrow, but the following day for a, another feature match for round four this time. So make sure you guys look forward to that. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. That's a wrap, guys. Peace.